are you doing today? It's a few hours before uh, Louisville, Kentucky tip-off. My wife's never been in New Orleans, so uh, just walking down Bourbon Street with her, trying to find something to eat, and uh, so she can experience New Orleans and, uh, you know, uh, the areas that it's Okay, and uh, do you have any thoughts about the game? Hilton Hotel in New Orleans, and we're about to go to Radio Row, where there are over 30 radio stations across the country interviewing players, coaches, and everyone in between. I've never covered a Final Four, and I've definitely never been to a Radio Row. So I guess we're going to go in and see what happens. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I can already tell. <laughs> where are your spots in the city? Wow, now you're going to tell me that. Just go down Berber Street and go to each place. You told me we were going to get gumbo, so we gonna... definitely got to go get some gumbo. I'm holding you to that. Absolutely. Is there something that you particularly like to do when you come here? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's personal love. I mean, good restaurants, have a cocktail, wow. well, things excuse like that. Me. that. That's sort of it. <laughs> what do you do when you're not working? Well, what I do mean, you got? I, what do I do? I, I am, I am a, and I'm saying this in front of all the people who I'm employed by, I am diligently working the entire time. There's no time for fun or frivolity in New Orleans. I'm just nose to the grindstone the entire time. Yeah, me too. All right, I got a couple of classy drinks. This one's for me, this one's for my producer, Josh. We call him Dottie. Dottie? Oh, he's such a warrior, he even carries my purse. Cheers, yay. Well, we're at this nice bar with family. Nelson siblings in the house. Dab it. There aren't a lot of sports fans here. There aren't a lot of hand grenades. Not a lot of daiquiris. This is still New Orleans. I'm with James, who's one of the premier bartenders here. I want a drink, and I want a highfalutin drink. This place was the antithesis of Bourbon Street. It is the antithesis of Bourbon Street. If somebody's a real sports fan, they're not going to be here when their game is on. So we're starting the day off right. Some random dude just walked up to me, gave me these awesome beads, told me that I need to look like at least I'm in New Orleans. And now I am here at this place called William A. Scotch House. I'm told it's the best fried chicken in this country. I've never been here before, but I wanted to get away from French Quarter and actually experience New Orleans, the real New Orleans. This is about as real as you're gonna get. So let's go in, get our fingers all greasy and gross. So let's go check it out. Can you give us a sense of the history of this place? Well, my wife, is, um, my great grandma opened it in 1957. So it's been around a long time. And this is a local neighborhood spot. Right, right. And describe to me the neighborhood that we're in right now. Well, we're in a Tremay area. So, you know, we're right around the corner from Dookie Chase. This is Jamar. He's helping me out here today. And Jamar, like, tell me what people usually order here. Personally, mm -hmm. as far as the sides, my favorite are the butter beans and the green beans. Let's see, the number one seller, of course, is the chicken. Yep. I'm definitely going to get the butter beans. Getting the green beans. Got to get the fried chicken. Should I get red beans, too? I mean, my life is super selling out. Yeah, you should. Yeah, Let's do it. Should. Can I get some cornbread? Yeah, of course. Okay. Gotta have cornbread. Yeah, cornbread's like my favorite. Oh my gosh, come on. You're so, this is amazing. Oh my god. Best fried chicken here in the country. Mm. Oh my god. So good. So gross. So gross, but so good.
You're here to support your son. I'm here to support Travis all the way. A rock Chalk Jayhawks! Woo! Oh, this is really bad. This is bad. This is bad news. My straw is gone. It's great. So we're headed to the Superdome right now. With a mass of people. And I'm just trying to blend in with my drink. This weekend we ate fried chicken, we had cool hipster drinks, we ran into college coaches on Bourbon Street and saw a guy completely fall on his face. So I think it's probably time to wrap it up. Put a wrap on the college basketball season and a wrap on NOLA for this year. 